Uh, Richard, let me ask you a question. Uh, let's just say Errol Spence wins this fight. He he wins this fight by knockout. Do you still think he needs Crawford on his resume to be legitimized as the number one pound for pound? Where does Crawford fit in the equation of well, welterweights? You know, you know what I what I said at the last Spence fight against Mikey Garcia. And, you know, Mikey's a friend of mine. I, I I think Mikey is and still is pound for pound in most people's top ten. So he is one of the most talented and most skillful fighters. But what we saw that night at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium was something which I have really only seen in my, in my lifetime as a boxing fan and promoter once. And that is a fighter, Errol Spence, making another fighter, another great fighter, make ordinary. And who comes to mind who fights the best out there and made them look ordinary? Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. That's the kind of performance I saw that night at Dallas Cowboys Stadium. That's why at the post-fight press conference, I proclaimed that that wasn't just the fight, but it was the coronation. It was the coronation in Dallas of Errol Spence as pound for pound the best fighter in the world. Now, this is a test. And this is a real test because I know Sean Porter and I know how difficult of a style Sean Porter is, how determined he is, how good he is. Uh, and he is going to come. He's going to come to fight, and he's going to give the biggest test in Errol Spence's career. And we are going to see on Saturday night: Will Errol Spence pass that test, or is Sean Porter too much? Being saying that, this is Big Rich with uh, Hustle Boss. Uh, do you think Mikey should go down in weight and stay and stop fighting at a higher weight, or well, look, I mean, what advice Mikey, would you give him? Nah, look, Mikey has Mikey wants the biggest fights, and if the biggest fights at 140, he should go and fight the biggest fight at 140. And if the fight is at 147, then let him go to 47. I mean, look, I'd love to see, for example, the winner of this fight fighting Danny Garcia, winner of the of, of uh, Porter and Spence, fight Danny Garcia and have have Mikey have Mikey Garcia. Fight uh, Manny Pacquiao. Richard, quick question. That's I would love to see that set up. That's Richard, right. quick question. Do you think that Errol Spence needs to beat Sean Porter by KO in order to no. convert the boxing hey. experts to believe that he is one of the top three pound for pound fighters in the world? How many, he's not being mentioned. No, no. How, how, how many, how many people? How many people did Floyd Mayweather knock out? In his in in the stretch from 2007 on, when he did all of these fights, became the highest paid athlete in the world. How many guys did he knock out? He and made great fighters look ordinary. That's what Floyd Mayweather. That's what Floyd Mayweather did. And I believe that we might be on the cusp to have. And we're going to see that on Saturday night to see not the next Floyd Mayweather. But the first Errol Spence, uh, and man, I can't wait to see how is he gonna look against somebody as strong and as big and as difficult in a style like Sean Porter is. Is he too much for him, Sean Porter? I don't know. It's the biggest fight for Errol Spence, and I can't wait to see on how or if he is going to pass the test. So I think they're gonna be some really, really interesting post-fight interviews about what happened in that fight. It's must-see. Uh, 